Good morning. So it's 8.20 a.m. and I have to leave in the next 20, 25 minutes. So <clears throat> I had said that if I had the time some morning before I glued them in, I would come in here and try and show you how they don't stay in anymore. So <laughs> they're loose. They're super loose. There's no way I could go to work today. Well, okay. I could go to work. I could talk to people. Even if they slipped while I was talking to someone, I don't think that would be a very big deal. But there's no way I could eat with my teeth this loose. There's no way. They have to be glued in. So I'm going to do the Fix-A-Dent powder again. It'll be my second time using it. I really liked it yesterday. I was concerned all day. Is this going to be a problem when it comes time to take them out? Does it work too well? Is it going to stick? But we had BLTs and french fries last night for supper. And after I ate those BLTs, when I was ready to take them out, boy, they just, I, I rinsed with some warm water and they, oh, I can't do it now. Mm. I could just spit them out and there was no residue on the roof of my mouth, which is uh, better for me than the super poly grip, which did leave pieces of glue stuck to the roof. The powder did not do that. And I mean, maybe I swallowed all that powder. I don't know. I don't know. But they're super loose because I have not yet glued them in. And since I said I would show you, I'm showing you. And I'm going to go glue them in right now and go to work. And that's all I have. Have a great day. All right. So really quick. Um... I just glued them in. I used the fix dent powder and um, I'm going to show you fix a dent extra hold denture adhesive powder and this is the box that came in and the box this is the um, warnings I was telling you about warning do not use more than directed contains zinc Excess excessive and prolonged zinc Intake is reported to be associated with serious health problems. Consult a doctor if using other products containing zinc. And then the other warnings, important. Do not use more than one quarter teaspoon. Well, <laughs> if you look at the way they, they show you to apply it, nobody's putting it into a teaspoon first to measure it. They're applying it directly from the bottle. I find the application process to be just a teensy bit tricky. Um, if I want to shake it, uh, like what happened this morning when I, I shook it, too much came out in one area and I used my finger to spread it around and then I definitely don't tell you to do that. Um, and then my finger felt a little bit tacky until I washed my hands. So I'll just read you the directions. To apply adhesive, clean denture, wet denture. It says dentures, but I only have tops. So I only have one denture, technically. <laughs> apply powder in thin layer as shown. Now what I found that sort of helped was I gave the bottle a little squeeze and it came out in a fine mist of powder instead of the, the little droplets that they're trying to show you here. Um, and that, you know, I think that's going to help with not using too much is to have that mist that comes out. It's going to take a little bit of practice, but they're in there really tight. I'm not going to try and pop them loose for you. I'm happy with the way that they're in. I'm happy with the way that they feel. My main concern every time I put them in is that my frenulum won't line up with the notch and I don't want to pinch that frenulum. It's hard to get. I need to use both my hands to get. Can you see? 
the notch doesn't really line up perfectly with my frenulum and I'm going to ask him when I see him can you make a little bit more space on this side because it's not rubbing but it's not perfectly lined up either um, but that's my main concern whenever I put them in is that I'll squish my frenulum and be in pain and I definitely don't want that um, but I don't have enough hands to put them in and pull my lip up to line everything up it does sort of tend to happen naturally so the notch is in a pretty good place for me um uh but that's all i just i put them in and i just wanted to describe the process of using the powder and and show you the box it says mm, do not use more than once a day i kept telling you that with proper use this bottle should last at least 15 to 16 weeks right the date opened here so that's where you can see that i wrote 7 24 17 which was yesterday do not use excess powder for poorly fitting dentures consult your dentist regularly to ensure you have properly fitting dentures poorly fitting dentures may impair your health uh, one other thing i wanted to say I did mention that I was I planned to also pick up some secure because these were the two things the fixident powder and the secure were the two things that I keep hearing other people say as far as adhesive um, obviously everybody's talking about denture fit for uh, home reline Walmart has a home reline kit and also a home repair kit and the products in the denture aisle are not very expensive so that makes me happy those that repair kit and the reline kit were like three bucks or something um but i'm not going to do a home reline i'm going to let my dentist do the reline and i think at least one reline is included in the cost um but the secure i think is something you just can't buy in stores i'm pretty sure you have to go online and order it and i'm pretty sure the denture fit is the same way but I haven't gotten to that stage yet where I'm using uh, home relines. So um, I'll keep using the fix dent powder. I am happy with the way that it's working. If I feel like I need to switch off, I have the super poly grip that they sent me home with and the second bottle tube that I picked up at Walmart when I got this powder. Um, and if I feel like I need to try a new adhesive, then maybe I'll order Secure because I did hear very good things about that online. And this is what they look like when they're not slipping around and loose. And the fix it -and powder works really nice. And I have to go to work, so I'll talk to you later.